turning out of control with absolute chaos. Yes, it's a public safety crisis. Yes, it is a humanitarian crisis. But I would submit to you, it is a constitutional crisis. Congressman Jody Arrington speaking at today's Texas congressional delegation in the Valley. Members assessing the partisan divide and how the Biden administration is responding to the migrant situation. Hello and welcome to CBS 4 Valley at 6. I'm Chris Jacobs. Faith is on assignment this evening, but we begin with that Valley visit. Congressmen from across the state are in our area getting a firsthand look at what they're calling a border crisis. CBS 4's Mike Jimenez spoke with members of the delegation and joins us live. Mike. And good evening, everyone. Now, those U.S. Texas congressmen were joined by local ranchers, 15 sheriffs from across the state who say they saw droves of migrants crossing overflowing facilities, and some are calling it an open border situation. What's happening down here is not compassionate, as you're hearing uh, from the uh, Biden administration. It is not humane. The delegation was made up of more than a dozen Texas congressmen who say they are deeply concerned about the crisis at the border. Look, this situation is not new but what's new is how bad it has gotten how fast it has gotten this bad the delegation was taken on boat tours with texas dps and toured migrant shelters including the donna tent facility it, it had a capacity of 250 and guess what there are 5700 uh, uh undocumented uh, uh immigrants that are in that facility right now at, at a cost of millions of dollars every single week. The delegation also included local ranchers and sheriffs from 15 counties who say they are feeling the impact. And from 2019 with having absolutely no pursuits involving human trafficking to where we had four last week. Congressmen say the Biden administration was warned that if they did away or reversed Trump's immigration policies, it would create chaos at the border. These types of things stop uh, deportations of folks who've had their, their uh, cases adjudicated that a bad crisis would occur, and that's exactly what's happening. Congressman with the delegation also say, although Border Patrol has reported 100,000 encounters this fiscal year, that does not include an additional 50,000 migrants caught on video, but not taken into Border Patrol custody. Congressmen say that number could reach 1.4 million migrants by the end of the fiscal year, which ends in October. Working for you in mission, I'm Mike Jimenez.